at the start of a new year or a new intention or a new goal that you have for yourself, it's very tempting to want to have everything happen right away, right now. Right, Willow? Okay, well, I guess you're not going to be in this one, are you? <laughs> I'm Karen, and welcome to this gentle yoga class. Even animals lack patience sometimes, especially my little dog. Let's practice embodying patience together so we can stay the course toward our goals, but also cultivate more presence and appreciation along the way as we work toward them. In this physical yoga practice, what that looks like is not forcing your body into shapes is becoming passive and letting the body react in its own time so that it can open and lengthen. You may enjoy using a yoga bolster or a couple pillows for this practice. Let's begin in a standing forward bend. Come to your feet, bend at your waist, and drape your upper body long over your legs. Let the arms dangle down toward the ground. If they touch the ground, then just let them passively rest. If they don't quite touch the ground and you find yourself up quite high through the torso, you could grab something to hold on to, like yoga blocks or the side of a chair. Bend the knees to start and shift the weight forward toward the center of the feet. Feel all 10 toes begin to grip into the mat. And then loosen that effort once you feel centered with your hips over your feet. Note that you can bend the knees as much as you need to to make this comfortable for your legs so you're not forcing them to open. Then let the whole spine, including the head and neck, be lengthened and loose so there's no holding of the chin in or out. Instead, there arrives a sense of gentle heaviness in the crown, a yearning of the upper body toward the floor. Now that you've found your steadiness, begin to breathe in and out slowly and deeply. Greet every sensation as it arrives, wherever it arrives. Perhaps even close the eyes here so that you can become more engrossed by how this feels in your inner body. If you've started to notice there's opening, rebalance yourself by allowing the chest to dive deeper, the arms to grow heavier. Maybe the backs of the legs begin to lengthen. Always keep a soft bend in your knees. We'll transition on the next round of breath at your own pace. Find an inhale and begin to lift the chest up just a little. Plant into the hands, bend the knees a lot, and reach the knees down to the ground, the feet behind you. Arriving to sit in Vajrasana, Thunderbolt. When you feel the head arrive over the hips, close the eyes or gaze down toward the tip of your nose. In this sudden reversal of head above the hips, not below, feel all the blood rush back down into the rest of your body. Open the eyes if they're closed. And let's place the hands forward. Stack the knees under the hips, widen them hip distance, and stack the hands underneath the shoulders. Move organically into cat and cow. So on an exhale, arch through the spine, 
gaze back toward the navel. And inhale, lower the abdomen, broaden the chest, gaze forward. Exhale into cat. And inhale into cow. As you move back and forth with your breath, slowly and gently. Again, bring your awareness to all the places of sensation in the body. Places of lightness and of resistance. Forget about what this looks like and drop the mind into what it feels like. Let's take one more round. And exhale back to neutral spine. Transition to a seat. And spread the legs wide to a V-shape. This is where you might enjoy having a pillow or a bolster underneath your hips so that you can promote the pelvis tilting forward and find more length in your inner legs. So bring that prop into play if you have it and allow yourself to sit on the edge of it so that you truly feel as if you're tilting forward at the hip points. And now open wide through the legs to the very first moment of feeling the inner groins light up with sensation. Allow the toes to flex very gently and find the kneecaps lifting. Tighten the thigh muscles so that we can target the underside of the legs with stretch. Now take a breath in and reach your fingertips all the way up overhead. Wide-legged seated forward fold, exhale, bring your arms forward and lengthen through your spine. The moment that you feel this opening in your inner legs, stop. Continue to lengthen through the spine and draw the arms and the heads of the shoulders backward so that you can feel that broadness across the front of the chest. Now tilt the chin slightly in to elongate through the back of the neck. Continue to stay active and rooted through your thigh bones. And breathe deep, loosening all the muscles of the belly so you can access your deepest, smoothest breath. It might be tempting to continue to drop your chest to the floor, but if the spine curls, I encourage you to come up a little higher, lengthen through the upper back, and then lead forward, bending here at the waist. If you find that you come all the way down to the ground, and you want even more lengthening through your inner legs, you could always send your arms open to a T or gently hold on to your feet. Spend a few moments appreciating the body, even through its tightness and its resistance. You live in this vessel. Begin to make friends with it, patience for its own opening as you hold the posture over time. And that's the key right there, isn't it? The holding over time. The dedication over time to your intention or your goal it all begins here physically, doing the work and also remaining passive and waiting for the results. Take your next inhale and walk your hands or simply lift your torso back upright. To come out, rest for a moment, soften the kneecaps, soften the thighs, soften the feet. Bring the left leg in, you can give it some help here through the arm, so that the foot cradles against the right thigh. Take your right arm down to the right leg and begin to elongate and lean over to that leg. 
Again, activate the right thigh and the right toes just a little. Left hand to hip and spiral the chest open towards your left thigh. Now melt the middle rib cage, the front of the ribs that protrude forward, melt them back and inward. Feel that arrive, that stretch and length arrive at the outer left back. Relax your head completely down, ear toward the shoulder. If you want even more, you could stay right here if you're feeling quite enough sensation. For more, inhale your left arm up overhead. Maybe it pauses, just reaching upright or continue traveling the arm toward the toes. You might hook onto the toes if you find the reach available to you today. Otherwise, just stay open and wide, shoulders rolling down the back, head and jaw and forehead soften. Bring your full awareness into the sensation of your body. And watch it unfold. Can you see those moments where the arm can extend longer? Where the torso can shine forward broader? Experiment with yourself. Little micro adjustments as we stay in Pavrita Janyu Shirshasana. Use your next breath to arrive out of the posture Pressing down into the right hand, lifting up through the torso, settling the right arm back down to the ground, and then pause for a moment and just observe. Feel that sensation, that resistance wash through you, knowing that you held the container of patience for it to happen. We'll switch sides. Press the hands behind you and switch out through the legs. And this time, it's the left arm that slides down the left leg, anchor through the left thigh gently, right hand to hip, and roll open through the torso, facing toward the right knee. Now relax the head downward toward the shoulder. Pause here to set it up a little bit more completely with the front rib cage melting in and back, and maybe staying here the whole time, or inhale your right arm up overhead. And exhale, reach it toward the toes. The depth doesn't matter. Consider that, that what you look like in the shape doesn't matter as long as you are experiencing the feeling, the opening. And as long as you are able to hold that opening safely, with patience and presence. Find little ways to readjust with yourself, to encourage a deeper sensation that's just enough for right now. And take your next inhale, plant into your left arm, lift your chest up, return the right arm to the ground, pause for a moment to appreciate the body. Transition to a comfortable seat, bringing both of the legs in to cross, maybe taking the left leg or the right leg in front, whichever leg that feels a little awkward for you to sit in Sukhasana as the shins meet in the middle. You could prop yourself up a little bit higher on your bolster or pillow if that's more comfortable for you. Intentionally create awkwardness with yourself, the way that feels like you just wanna get out of it, you'd rather be in your comfort zone. But here again, practicing patience, allow this to be. Now take your right hand to your left knee and your left fingertips behind you. Inhale and lengthen up through the crown and the sternum. Lift the rib cage away from the waist. Take the exhale and twist open to the side. Allow the fingertips to soften a bit 
the elbows to soften. And take the gaze forward in the direction where the body is looking. Continue to root down through the left hip, feeling it track back in space. Find one more breath in. And breathe out, unwind the twist. Bring your hands forward. Follow the movement to the other side. Fingertips behind you or palm. Press into the ground. Inhale and lift through the sternum. Exhale and twist to the side. Now notice the part of you that automatically strains and tries to make the most of this stretch. And instead, can you stop where the body wants to? Soften the shoulders and use the breath to go deeper. Find the inhales to lengthen the rib cage away from waist and the exhales to spiral around the heart center. Enjoy one more breath in and one more breath out to return back to the starting point. Plant your hands toward your knees and lift up through your crown. And now notice, has this become a little bit more comfortable? Over time, as you sit, the body gets used to a new way of being. As you begin to move out of your slightly uncomfortable seat, I'd like to thank you again for practicing with me. And if you enjoyed this practice, give it a like and share with me in the comments how it went for you. I'd love to hear. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I put out new yoga and meditation videos every single day. So click that bell button to get notified when they're posted. In the meantime, be patient with yourself as you continue to work toward your intention. I'll see you soon.